today I'll be painting Tom Nook in his summer look. First thing I did was prime the piece so that it would show up better on video. So I started with a white under layer for Tom Nook's shirt to make just the colors go down easier. Then I just started filling in the little crevices on the leaves on his shirt with a light green and then again with a dark green. Then I started layering in yellow along the edges. This whole layer of paint was done rather loosely. Not a lot of detail was put into it. I wasn't worried about having clean edges for the moment. Acrylic is very easy to clean up. I was trying to put color down and then shape it further in later steps. Yellow is actually a very difficult color to paint with. It's so light on the color spectrum that most pigments end up overpowering yellow. So in the future, I should have painted the yellow first and then gone back and done the green. Next, I put on a light layer of yellow on his khakis. Then I wiped off the yellow to end up giving, hopefully, the shorts a bit of a, a layered dimensional feel. Then after the shirt had thoroughly dried, I went back with a more detailed brush to finish up some of the lines to better get the edges around the leaf prints. I then took a medium brown on the shorts to try to get that khaki feeling. Now, mixing brown and mixing the correct pigment of brown can actually be very challenging because, because it's hypothetically easy to make brown but then it is difficult to be accurate with your shade of brown. I made multiple colors of brown. I ended up using more of a red base coat. I added in the details around the neck and shirt line. I then began experimenting with what shade of brown exactly I wanted for the darker sections of the face and the ears and the tail and the hands. I just wasn't sure if this was too red. I ended up changing it, but I still use this as a base layer to create depth. I was careful around the eyes because I didn't want to paint brown where there was going to be white because again, white is like yellow. It is hard to paint. I then found it rather satisfying to add small details like the little leaf badge on his shirt. Then after the shirt had thoroughly dried, I went back and added his little buttons on his shirt. One of the final satisfying pieces was getting his eyes correct. After I had finished this piece, I went back later and repainted the eyes in an enamel paint to create a more reflective and lifelike appearance in his eyes. I found that the color of the leaf badge was actually a very good match for the darker sections of his hands and tail and raccoon mask. I then cleaned up the spots that I had messed up on his shirt. And finally, speaking of a cohesive color scheme, I've been trying to figure out what color his base plate should be. He already has so much tan and green on him that I couldn't do some kind of tan wooden flooring or green grass that would just be too much tan or green. So. Rather than using the same colors, I took contrasting complementary colors. Overall, I'm very pleased with how the piece turned out. That being said, it's not perfect, but it does have personality. <laughs>